Hello everyone, this is Bethany from Southern Couture, and guys, you know how much I have been talking about this illustrating Bible over on my Instagram, if you follow me there, and I am just so excited. Today is officially the day. <laughs> There's no more waiting, so if this feels like Christmas morning to you, Merry Christmas, right? <laughs> I'm so excited, but this is the newest illustrating Bible from Day Spring. We've had a couple other um, different covers and uh, styles before, so if you have missed out on any of those or your Bible is full and you want to get a new one, now is the time because there's a really fun pre-order special and I'm going to go through all the details with you right now. I'm going to walk you through this Bible and do a flip through, show you comparisons to the previous Bibles uh, of the Illustrating Bible and uh, we'll go from there. So first thing I want to say is if you absolutely know that you want to grab the Illustrating Bible, I encourage you to head down to the link that's down below in the description and go to Dayspring and pre-order it now. Um, there's been so much excitement about it. There's a great pre-order special if you haven't heard. And so I really feel like these are going to sell out quickly. So if you are wanting to get it, I would go ahead and do that now. Um, there is this pink version and then there is like a really dark gray charcoal um, cover color as well, which is gorgeous. And I love that. Um, if you, we'll talk about more some things you could do with the gray too, but I wanted to go ahead and say that to begin with. There is a link down below where you could go grab it now and get it um, pre-ordered before they run out. Now, the other thing is thank you, thank you, thank you to Dayspring for sending me this Bible. It is always such a joy and a pleasure to be able to share uh, resources, especially of God's Word, when it's getting so many people to get into the Word and study. And um, I'm just so excited and really appreciative for that. So, here we go, guys. I'm just, I'm ecstatic. It's almost like I get at a loss for words because I'm just so, so excited that, um, we have another new illustrating Bible. But let's just go right here with the unboxing and then I'll show you the other ones. So we've got um, the box is this really sturdy, thick, hard um, box. But what I wanna say about that is that it came with just this plastic cover over the top. And the previous versions had a little bit of a bigger box and stuff so if you had got that one before this one might be just a little bit different and I want to give you a quick synopsis here of the features this comes on the top of the Bible it is the world's first spiral bound Bible um, this isn't the first one obviously but the um, the original one was uh, it is this one is NIV the previous two have been uh, Christian Standard Bible and this is the NIV translation so I do want to make that clear it does have that lay flat design because of the spiral bound. It will lay flat, so it's really easy to do Bible notes in or journaling. The pages are the same as the other ones. They're still that 75% thicker. So I have put acrylics, watercolors, all sorts of um, mediums on the pages of the other Bibles, and they do not bleed through. Um, I don't even prep the pages. You might have a little shadowing and that's it. So that's what's really, really nice about this. And then you get a three and three fourth inch wide margin, which is crazy. I, I can put my whole hand in there. And then in Psalms, I'll show you, there's places where the, the margin's even wider because of the way the book's written. So um, that gives you just a few little quick highlights. One thing I do wanna say is that on that pre-order special, let's just knock that out now. Um, if you pre-order between now and August 30th, which I would not wait that long if you can, but between now and August 30th, when you pre-order, you're going to get a goodie bag, grab bag, what, whatever you want to call it, of Bible journaling goodies to go along with the Bible valued at $75. So this little gift pack is going to be a huge value, $75. So if you have Bible journaled for you know a long time, add some things to your stash and collection, or you could pass it on to someone who is new to Bible journaling. If you uh, or use it in a um, workshop or a workshop, a small group type thing. If you um, are brand new and maybe you've never had a journaling Bible or you are just starting out, this would be a great way to build up your supplies as well. So there'll be all sorts of fun Bible journaling 
goodies that will come in that for $75. <laughs> that is just crazy to me. So here's the other thing that's really great. If you buy one Bible, you'll get one grab bag. If you grab two Bibles, you get two grab bags and so forth. So if you're thinking of any kind of Christmas presents that you want to jump on now, um, that grab bag will be, um, you know, and you're getting a Bible for yourself, you're going to get a grab bag for each one, not just for your entire order, which I couldn't believe, which is just even better. And I do believe these will have free shipping because of the price amount, uh, free shipping, which is great. And um, you don't have to add the grab bag in your cart when you check out. I do want to make an emphasis on that. So if you don't see that that's showing up when you check out, no fears. They will throw that grab bag in with um, your Bible when they're packing it. You don't have to add it, okay? So there we go. We got all that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and just pull it out of here and move our box. And um, so we have, this is this really, really beautiful, delicate pink. It's a pastel but maybe even lighter. I mean, it's a really nice light pink. I am in love with the color. It's not a, it's not too bold or bright. It's um, just this really like, I don't know, almost like a, I want to say like a ballet pink, just very light and delicate. It's beautiful. You've got the gold foiled um, emblem here on the front with the illustrating Bible, which is how the second one was. And then um, you have your, um, the spiral coil here. Now, someone had asked me if it was like a rose gold or more of a copper. And it looks very, very similar to the other two Bibles and their rings. So, we'll stack them up in a minute and we'll look at that in more detail. Um, now, we have the inside, which is beautiful. And the inside is almost like a faux suede. I mean, it's extreme quality. So, this is a faux leather. And then you have the faux suede in here. And you can probably hear that it's such a nice quality um they didn't just put some cardboard or you know piece of paper in here it is amazing i love it and then it's got in the beginning god created and this really beautiful it's a navy maybe a little bit bolder navy but it's such a pretty blue i think it goes so well and complements that pink now the dark gray charcoal um it is beautiful, and the inside is a, I want to say it's on like a creamy off-white, so it's a really nice contrast of that dark and light together, just like this one. Um, a lot of people like, like using these for legacy Bibles because they are so large. They're more for a journaling Bible. Um, some people will use these for Bible studies, but it's more for a journaling or if you want to write a lot of your own um, notes, revelations, prayers. Maybe you're not wanting to do all of the artistic things in it. That's okay. It's great for writing all of those prayers and things like that. And what I love is that it is so nice if you want to, like I said, a legacy Bible to pass down to um, your children later and you write prayers over them in it for them to go back and read. I mean, that just seems so amazing and such a sweet heritage to pass on. So if you have sons and you want to do that dark gray, uh, charcoal gray, I love that you've got that option now instead of just having a um, very feminine pink color. If you want to do a darker gray um, for them, that's awesome. So we've got our title page here, NIV version, like I said, and then of course your list of the books of the Bible. And then you have over here, um, a title page for Old Testament and, um, the font, when they went to the second version, this is 3.0, I call it, when they did 2.0, they, I believe this is the font they changed it to. The first one had a different font for the titles of the books and, um, it was a little bit larger and took up some of the margin space more. So this is a nice, I like that they, when they changed that, because now you have more space here and it doesn't take up too much room. This is an eight point uh, text size. And I want to say that the one before this was like 10. Um, I'd have to go back and look at my post before, but I want to say it might've been like 10, but this is an eight point. So it's not going to be in a large um, print. A lot of people will ask me that, and the reason being is because if they did put this Bible in a large print, it is already so large, and can you imagine if they did um, make it? You would have to have like two or three of these, and it would just be um, ginormous. So, because of that, that's why you're going to see just the eight point. And so, 
this will show you kind of how wide it is. You can see my hand, um, how wide it is with my fingers. I wish I had brought of my ruler right here, but like here's one of the Illustrated Faith um, pens from Dayspring, and you can kind of see about like how wide it is or how thick it is. So a good what? Let's say two inches or so. So it's a nice thick Bible, very strong, sturdy, made but it is definitely um gonna have to be a smaller print because of that okay now of course you've got all these books and then one thing i wanted to show you like see how exodus right here because of the way that this is written in this um form look at all that extra space you get it's just amazing um and then you'll see that same thing over in psalms but like here we go if you wanted to see about how wide it is like my hand fits in the margin with a little bit of space on each side so you're getting such a large margin and then here's psalm i mean i can almost fit two hands because of the way it's written it's so fun to work through it. I love that. Now, real quick, I'm going to share with you or just show y'all a page that I did in here. And I love this verse over in John. This is John 14 and 27. I'll read it real quick. It says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world, I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. And I, it's a verse that's just really special to me. And so I um, loved doing this page and just, you know, putting down some really basic things that I had. This is not a um, super hard page. It did not take me a long time to do. So if you like doing the artistic style and pulling out the paints, um, I'll show you a few pages in my other Bibles. It's the same exact thickness so you could do that without it bleeding through you can tell I used some colored um, like the mild liner highlighters and look at that there's no um, bleed through it's just a little bit of shadowing and that's it and then just put down some stickers and some washi and some other fun little things that I had on hand and I love how that turned out and made such a bold emphasis on remembering peace for today and so if you want to just do some study notes or prayers, um, you know, revelations, things like that that come to you, this is a great way to do that too. It's not just for doing all of that fun artsy journaling that maybe many of us like to do. There's other options as well. So let me get this bad boy flipped back up here to the front. And if I leave out anything, any specific detail that I'm just not even realizing, please, please, please let me know and um, leave a comment. And I will be checking those a lot today because I know that this is a new item and so many of you want to get your hands on it. So um, just leave that down below. If you see somebody with a question and you, you know, know, then you feel free to, you know, reply and help them out too. That's what I love about this group. Okay. So now here was the original illustrating Bible. This was I guess you call it the original, the OG, um, the 1.0, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so mine's pretty thick and, and way higher because I have done a lot of journaling in this original one. It's really hard for me to stop in a Bible and move to something else. So, um... <laughs> I love to just keep going in this one, but I think I'm going to have to stop soon because it is so thick, but I'm absolutely in love with it. So you'll see this one had a little bit of a different title on the front um, as far as that goes. The inside had like this turquoise, uh, that had a turquoise colored um, suede. This one is, you know, more of the navy, so you can kind of tell there. And then one thing that someone had asked was that color of that um, spiral or the um, binding, and they look, I mean, they look the same to me. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a rose gold. They look very copper. Um, so I do, I do think they're a lot alike. And then let me move that one over and I will show you Illustrating Bible 2.0. And then here we have the second one. So it's the exact same as, um, the design with that emblem, the, um, the, Binding is the same. One thing that feels a little bit different is like this one feels like it has a, like almost like, I don't know, it's like um, a finish on it or something to make it feel more smooth and kind of like shiny in a way. And it had like a shimmer in it. This one is a much more flat and matte. It almost feels like I can feel more of a leather grain on this one. So. I don't know if anybody cares about that, but I just noticed that and I wanted to um, say because uh, they do feel a little bit different, but 
It's still just such a beautiful bible. Now let me show you if you had any of the individual books of the Bible, which I believe you can still grab those, and I will um, try to link them down below if you're interested. We had the Luke, the Book of Luke um, Illustrating Bible, and this one they did switch over to NIV. And let me show you real quick. This color right here, I believe this is going to be very similar or the same color that's in that dark gray one. So maybe that will help to show you. But see how this... Um, by the, the binding on this one and then also on this um, Psalms and Proverbs it looks much more gold copper and this definitely looks much more of a like rose gold if you want to call it or it's more of a bronze I don't know this one's just more gold and shiny gold yellow gold than this one if that matters and then the Psalms and Proverbs was also um, NIV. So when they went to the individual books, they started doing the NIV. And so that's what they've continued now with this one. So if you have any questions at all, you guys, please let me know. And um, I would be so happy to help you and answer those. Leave them down below. And um, if you want to grab one, don't wait. Like I said, that pre-order special is through the 30th and it's an insane deal. $75 worth of product for Bible journaling free. And you get one with each Bible that you purchase. If you're wanting to do gifts, it's a great thing. I will be back though. The Bible will officially launch and sell our sell, launch and ship on August 31st. And so I will be back that day and I'm going to do another fun video. I can't decide yet what I want to do. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. Um, maybe some kind of fun process video. I want to do something fun to really celebrate the, um, the official launch of this beautiful Bible. So if you have any suggestions, leave them down below. I would love to hear them. If there's maybe you're wanting to see certain, certain um, art mediums or some kind of process um, in the Bible, I would love to do that and share it with you guys. So just um, keep me posted there in the comments and I will be back so soon to help you guys out and show you some more fun things you can do in this Bible. But for now, Go grab your Bible, make sure you're subscribed, and you've hit that little bell um, icon so you know when the next video is coming out. And I will see you then. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.